We're getting closer and closer to the state tournaments in high school baseball and softball. Many teams still remain around the big country. The undefeated Jim Ned Indians are one of those teams. They're coming off a close 3-2 win against the early Longhorns in the regional quarterfinals. Jim Ned has seemed to find a way to win in every tight game they've played this year and still have avoided the loss column to this point. They'll have their work cut out for them against another district champion in shallow water this week, but the Indians are focused on continuing their run. You know, it's been awesome. It's been an awesome run this year. I mean, going undefeated all the way till right now. I mean, we haven't lost one series game yet. And I mean, I'm looking forward to go all the way without a loss. I'm hoping, hoping that's what we do. I mean, we're working hard every day and we're not scared. We're ready to play against anybody, anytime, anywhere. We're just ready. I mean, we're just going to stay focused, not get tired of winning. Like Coach Lewis always says, uh, keep our heads straight, just focus on doing simple things right, and then see how far we go. The, the thing that's helping us right now is that they expect to win every game. Uh, regardless of who we're playing, they're expecting to win, and if you expect to win, that's you know the majority of the battle. Uh, they're extremely confident in what they're doing, and they're staying relaxed. Here's a look at the rest of the teams still competing in the big country. In Class 5A, Wiley faces Alito. Down to 2A, Albany faces New Deal this week, and Anson faces West Texas. In Class A, Westbrook squares up with Nazareth. As for softball, it's a battle of two big country teams between Stanford and Colorado City. Winner goes to the state tournament.